The radical hysterectomy involves removal of the cervix, the uterus. It does not have to involve the tubes and ovaries. That depends on the patient's age. It also re involves removal of a, a portion of the top of the vagina because the cancer can spread to that area. So the goal is to get a complete resection so that the margins are negative, and that's all the patient needs. I think certainly there has been a trend in surgery away from radical procedures uh, because of the morbidity, you know, illness associated with them. But certainly for early stage cervical cancers, that can be removed with a radical hysterectomy, the long-term outcome of how people do is better. The treatment is contained at one time. We think the complications are less as opposed to other forms of therapy like chemotherapy and radiation. I've seen enough in women who are facing a cancer that if the treatment is chemotherapy or radiation versus removing the offending organ when they're done with their childbearing. I think most women would rather have the cancer out. You select people in terms of whether they're a candidate for a radical hysterectomy, and that's based upon factors in terms of their tumor. From there, we take all of those patients at this point and treat them with robotic radical hysterectomy because we think it's a far superior operation.